Cancer, which is Latin for crab, is the dimmest of the 13 constellations of the zodiac, having only two stars above the fourth magnitude. The small faint constellation Cancer is rich in open clusters and double stars. Credit Starry Night Software Cancer lies between Leo, the Lion, and Gemini, the Twins. It is almost impossible to see Cancer as a crab with the naked eye or even binoculars. It looks more like a fate, upside down why Cancer is visible in the Northern Hemisphere in the early spring. It can be seen in the Southern Hemisphere during autumn. The Cancer constellation occupies an area of 506 square degrees. Right ascension, 9 hours declination, 20 degrees best seen between latitudes 90 degrees and minus 60 degrees visibility is best during March at 9 p.m. Cancer contains two messier objects, a set of astronomical objects first in 1771 by French astronomer Charles Messier in 1771. Cancer's most famous messier object is M44, also known as the Beehive Cluster, which is a small star cluster that resembles a swarm of bees. M44 contains about 50 stars, the brightest of which are of the sixth magnitude. Epsilon CNC is the brightest member at magnitude 6.3. Praise Bay is also one of the larger visible open clusters with an area of 1.5 square degrees, or three times the size of the full moon. The constellation's other messier object, M67, is another open star cluster. Beta CNC is the brightest star in Cancer at magnitude 3.5. It is an orange-hued giant star about 290 light-years from Earth. The star Alpha CNC Acubens, which means the claw, is a double star with a primary of magnitude 4.3, 173 light-years from Earth. Other notable stars include the Gamma CNC Acellus Borealis, the Northern Donkey, a white-hued star 158 light-years, and Delta CNC Acellus Australis, Southern Donkey, an orange-hued giant star 136 light-years. Perhaps the most famous exoplanet in the constellation is 55 Cancri, a super-Earth that was for a time identified as a diamond world. The original observations in 2010 suggested that the host star had more carbon than oxygen in its interior. A subsequent 2012 study then modeled 55 Cancri's mass and radius based on the composition of its planet star, and suggested this planet had a graphite surface overlying a massive layer of diamond underneath. However, a follow-up study in 2013 suggested that there is far less carbon in the planet than originally envisioned, so diamond may be a misnomer. The host star of the planet only has about 25% more oxygen than carbon, that research team suggested. This came from a different interpretation of the chemical composition of the star as expressed in the star spectrum. Meanwhile, the Spitzer Space Telescope was used to monitor the heat emissions from 55 Cancri. Early 2013 results suggested that the planet could be very warm and wet, while 2016 follow-ups revealed that the planet is scorching hot and could be using lava. Results released from Spitzer in 2016 showed that daytime temperatures on 55 Cancri can reach as high as 4,000 degrees Fahrenheit, 2,427 degrees Celsius and about half as much at night, 2,025 F1107. See the nature of the surface is still unclear, but researchers did see a hot spot about midway between the day and nights sides that is still poorly explained. Constellations ancient and modern grace the skies year-round. Let's see what you know about the star patterns that appear overhead every night. 0 of 10 questions complete constellation quiz what's your cosmic IQ 0 of questions complete the constellation. Of Cancer represents the giant crab that attacked Hercules during the second of the 12 labors he performed as penance for killing his family. It was sent by the jealous goddess Hera to thwart Hercules as he battled the water serpent Hydra, but he killed it with his club. In astrology, which is not a science, Cancer is the fourth sign of the zodiac and represents those born between June 20th and July 22nd. It is considered a water sign and is one of the four cardinal signs, which are signs that indicate a change of season when the sun makes its annual passage into them. Additional reporting by Elizabeth Howell, Space.com contributor. Related.